Right. Imagine having a digital twin that makes it possible for you to receive the right medical treatment. The question is, how would that be? The digital twin can be experimented on by researchers to find the best possible treatment. And what's even better is, you don't need to go near a pill or surgeon's knife to know what's wrong. Cancer patients going through rigorous and painful treatments are offered a ray of hope in the form of the Digital Twins Medical Project. The project requires researchers to collect large amounts of data from women who are suffering from cancer. This data is then used to create complex computer models to make the patient's digital twin. In other words, clinical digital twins are virtual representations of the patients. Throughout the patient's treatment course, the digital twin is used for various applications such as for predicting patient treatment outcomes. Diseases like cancer can vary a lot, so patients need treatments that are personalized. With a real patient, you cannot make tests. You just put a treatment and then you expect the outcome, right? So if this patient digital twin model is accurate enough, you can simulate millions of these trajectories, uh, resulting from modifying one patient factor or another, right? So that you are able to get, at the end of the day, a number of treatment decisions individualized for that patient that would improve uh, a patient outcome. Now the study seeks to simulate each patient on a computer by collecting genetic, physiological and behavioral data without putting the patient at risk. Various treatments can be tested on the digital twin, but how do the researchers get the data to make the twin? Well, researchers rely on AI tools for such clinical predictions. So we are tracking them with a wearable device. We have some physiological data, then we have some data that comes from using the phone and also some questionnaires that they can answer to reflect on their emotions and uh, general feeling. So we have a more descriptive um, information about how the patient is feeling than what we get usually from clinicians. The technology used for the research also takes into account the psychological and psychiatric issues that oncologists may not always have time to deal with. The researchers have to ha hope to publish results in a few years from now.